an. Und ich bin so süß. We're at the monastery and everything is absolutely beautiful. This was the perfect time to come. We've stumbled upon some sort of Estonian festival. So there are a bunch of different people representing different regions of Estonia here and they're singing and dancing.
Put it underneath like this, and then you take this and you pull it as, as like as strongly as you can, and then you do everything like. That. Hey guys, I nearly recorded this video with sunglasses on, which would have been pretty awkward, I think, for y'all, but. I just got a tour from Ava of her school and I didn't get to visit it to actually teach English but I'm really happy that I got to see it before uh, I leave and I brought a bunch of clothes to Vita Team that I'm not planning to take back to America so that my friend Marina can use it in a workshop that she's going to do about how to, I guess, change clothing to make it wearable again or to use old clothes in a different way, sort of recycling. And I'm really excited about that. I sadly won't, I will have left before she host, holds the workshop, but I'm very happy that my clothes will get some really good use. Uh, so yeah, today the weather is absolutely gorgeous. So I think I'm gonna just hang out at Vita Team, walk around a little bit, and then try to really start packing up. Uh, I'm about 75% of the way packed, but I don't think my bags are distributed very well. So I have to try to move stuff around and get it, get it sorted. I feel like I've been pointing out the weather in every single video that I've been recording, but this is amazing. I'm so happy. Estonian spring is going to be how I explain my favorite weather conditions for the rest of my life. People will say, ah, what is your favorite season? And instead of just saying fall or winter, I will say Estonian spring. <laughs> it's magical honestly. Anik and I are on our way to a language cafe in Silame and then afterwards I'm going to walk her around and show her where I've been spending about 50% of my time since I've been here in Estonia. Um, hopefully you guys can hear me. I have no idea. Those recipes are not actually that complicated, and they have been the same for for a long time. Hey guys, it is Thursday and I spent the early afternoon and afternoon with my incredible mentor Ava. Ava, I know you watch these so again thank you so much. You're such a great person and I love spending time with you. Um, yeah, it was, it was a great afternoon and now ah, there's someone on the phone. So now I am on my way to my very last access class in Silame. They graduate in a few days but I actually will be flying out before 
they graduate. I picked my flight before they even knew what their date was. So there was no helping that. I am sad I'm gonna miss the graduation, but I'm excited that I get to see them this last time before I leave. A couple of students from Sila May may end up going to this festival, so tonight might not be goodbye for all of them, but it is going to be goodbye for most of them. And I feel like while I'm walking, I can't really get into the big, all of the emotions that I'm feeling, but I am feeling a lot all at once. Um, so yeah, hopefully at some point I'll sit down and really reflect on everything but right now I just want to say that this is I'm on my way to my last class and I have a lot of feelings so I think that we're gonna walk around a lot today because the weather again is perfect I love Estonian spring <laughs> um, so yeah that's that's today when I go back I think I'm gonna go to Vita team for a little bit hopefully there will be people there but I usually get back pretty late like 7 30 or 8 o'clock so I wouldn't be surprised if there isn't anyone there and then I'll go home and really get my packing finished so And saying the the V. <laughs> oh my God! I, I I think you're good with that. I can zoom it in. Yeah, perfect. Her name is Sonia, she is just love. Jill falls in love with Arnold Schwarzenegger. <coughs> His mom married Batman. Batman was reckless and treated and treat the space loudly. He was lonely. And Jill and Desmond asked him what his girlfriend should be. They listened to him carefully and started finding him a wise girl with clean teeth and who passed all exams. <laughs> They saw how Elon Musk is fighting with Justin Bieber. Elon <laughs> Musk! <laughs> but Elon Musk won this fight. Hey guys, I'm at Allison's flat because I'm staying here for a couple of days before I take off on my flight. I came to Tallinn early and ended up leaving Narva just so that I could ride in a car on my way to, to Tallinn without having to... Um, you know, worry about my suitcases too much and part of me really honestly regrets doing that even though I'm very excited to spend time with Allison before I leave, I just am already 
heartbroken that I'm leaving Narva or that I've left Narva because at this point I have left um, and there's just a lot there that I'm gonna miss a bunch and so I'm feeling pretty emotional right now but uh, I'm gonna go get dinner with Allison and hopefully that will distract me a bit and then tomorrow I think that we are planning to go to the beach and then I get on an airplane bright and early the next morning. I'm sure that there's a lot of footage I missed. Uh, there was a really amazing festival put on by the Vita Active students on Friday. Today is Saturday. Yeah. So Friday, yesterday. And my phone died about halfway through the event. So hopefully I'll have footage for you uh, that I scramble from other people. But yeah, I mean, this is the last Estonia vlog. And maybe I'll be in a better state to talk about everything when I'm at the airport or something, but right now I'm just really I feel like I'm feeling so much that I'm not able to register what it is exactly that I'm feeling. So, anyway um, yeah I will check in tomorrow, probably <laughs> nine o'clock in the evening and this is how bright it is in Tallinn. No, no, it's not nine o'clock. It's 945. It's 945. 945? 945. Oh, dang. <laughs> like it's almost 10. Oh, Estonia. <laughs> I'm gonna miss ya. So bad. Uh, mentally, I've been pushing away all of the negative parts about leaving, so I'm very excited to go to the beach today because I think that it will just contribute to the pushing down the bad feelings. Uh, which might not be the healthiest thing to be doing right now, but I don't really care. I think today is going to be beautiful, and if I'm going to get all gushy and emotional and sad about leaving, then hopefully I can do that on the plane tomorrow and not the beach today. But I do think it will serve as a good distraction, so we'll find out. But I'm just really excited. I think this is going to be awesome. No, it's fine. I figured that would be quicker than like stopping on our store. Right, no, absolutely. 